of the co-creation that I was discussing before, you can end up in doing other things, which has a huge upside for the startup itself, because you learn even more about the related activity, about the financial fit or whatever it is. Uh, and you can end up creating a new, uh, a new product in the end. So uh, clarity of the proposal, uh, the product itself, uh, uh, how nice it is, how easy to be used, how nice you explain it, yeah? And um, please show also uh, the, the benefits of, uh, of your solution if it is acquired by the related company. This would be uh, an advice that I would give. Can I just right, say, say from, from, because my experience is I also worked in a, in a startup and what you, Anka, was saying, it was kind of like kind of just thinking like, oh, that that is the advice that I would want to have when I was approaching, uh, you know, big corporates. Mm -hmm. uh, so from what I've learned when I was working in a startup and exactly was in a B two B space trying to approach uh, companies, and what I've learned and one of the advice that I would give to startups is to be honest when they are presenting the the maturity of of the product because I've, I'm guilty of it myself and I've seen a lot of startups basically over promising in order just to get the foot into the door because a lot of startups in order just to have the meeting say hey you're gonna you know our product's gonna revolutionize everything however it is a startup so usually especially in the b2b space startups need to have these partnerships these collaborations with companies where both learn of each other how they are working. So I think do not go and overpromise because most likely than not you're gonna under deliver and then you will kind of sour the relationship with, with your partner. 